Commissioner, this month GRIPT revealed that the Gardaí have a new policy around gender identity in the workplace and this policy makes it mandatory for officers to use a person's preferred gender pronouns. It says that, quote unquote, strict compliance with the policy is required of all staff. So, Commissioner, simple yes or no question, will Gardaí be punished or disciplined if they misgender another person? Uh, well, th this is about respect and respect for individuals in the workplace. We're obviously a very important employer uh, and uh, an employer which sets the highest, highest standards in terms of uh, how we treat individuals in the workplace. So it is a precursor and an absolute necessity. Anybody in the workplace is treated, uh, treated with respect and that includes transgender issues. So, but, so would that mean that an officer could be disciplined if they were to refuse to use a person's preferred pronouns or again if they were to misgender somebody that there could be disciplinary action taken against that officer? Oh, well, there's be a management response and that could escalate as far as discipline, but there would always be a management response in the first place. This is about actually setting examples and requiring an example. It's wrong just to categorise this as straight as a discipline issue, it's a management issue and a, and a performance issue in the first place. Commissioner, uh, multiple Garda staff have told my publication in private that they feel concerned and fearful of the new transgender policy because they say that they think if they speak out against it and they do oppose it, that they will have some kind of threat to their career and that it could be, become very uncomfortable for them. Do, do you think those fears are founded and, and uh, what kind of punishment could, and discipline could we be talking about if somebody was to, as I say, misgender somebody or or go against the, the current policy as it's laid out? Uh, well, I would I wish to allay their fears. The uh, Garda Shikona is an employer and a workplace where individuals are respected. That's very clear from our approach in terms of our employment uh, policies and our strategy within the workplace and the culture that we wish to grow within on Garda Shikana. So I wish to uh, really, they should allay their concerns and fears. I can understand uh, why they might arise, but uh, if they have uh, an issue within the workplace, they must uh, either raise it through uh, their supervisor or raise it with the anti-corruption unit and the matter will be dealt with.